Hi, Norm Norlander here. I'd like to show you a very interesting pattern called the bunny bugger. This is a type of fly that we often use when you're exploring new waters. We don't know exactly what's going on or where to fish. With this style of fly, you can usually find out in a hurry. Neat features of this bunny bugger is we're going to use a dubbing brush instead of hackle for the collar. We're going to build a more interesting, what I think is more interesting, body profile. And we're going to show you how to center a cone head. We use that for a little bit of added weight and some flash. We'll start out by placing a small hook. This is about a size 10. It's about a 3x long hook. We've got a beautiful little gold cone on the front of it, all ready to go. You see it's pretty well centered. You make that even with the top of the jaws, you're ready to go. Now the first operation is making what's called a dubbing brush. I'm using some copper wire, nothing special. We'll run this wire through the eye of the hook, pull out about a foot or so, twist it together like so. This is called a dubbing brush table. This is an accessory for your Norvice. The new ones are built so they're adjustable. You can move these up and down, you get the height right where you want it, which is usually just right at or slightly above the shank of the hook. And then we're going to lay one wire over the table and the other wire we just let it dangle in front. Now I'm using rabbit fur for a dubbing brush. You can use all sorts of furry little beasts, things like polar bears and, and arctic fox, neighbor's cat, whatever you can get a hold of. Take a little pinch of bunny fur like this and we're going to lay just the butt ends across that wire that's on top of the table. Okay? You spread that out a wee bit. Get this out of the way for a second. We bring the second wire over the one that's on the table, and that forms what's known as a dubbing loop. You pull these two wires together, get your table out of the way, give your Norvice a spin. This is how you create a dubbing brush. When you look at it, it looks kind of like a little bottle brush. The oriented fur is nice and soft, it's held securely between those two twisted wires. Now normally you'd want to make a whole bunch of those, maybe a shoebox full before you start tying flies. We're going to go to the next step, however. We're going to start out by taking this hook and what to call dressing the hook. This is where we lay down a foundation of working thread. Now rather than wrap it around like that, of course, with your Norvice, you turn the hook. A neat trick is to take that bobbin and put it right against the shank of the hook. That way you can go in and out of the gape of the hook no danger of cutting your thread. Okay, for a tail, I'm going to use a little bit more of this rabbit fur. Again, we'll just take a little pinch right off the hide like this, clip it short. Okay, get that out of the way so we can see what we're doing. You might pull just a little bit of the under fur out like this, okay? Really frugal, you can save that for dubbing. Okay. Now we're going to attach the tail with a soft loop, tighter loop, work your way back, right about to where the barb would be, okay? Perfect. You might want to secure this with a half inch before you do dubbing. The reason is that this cone head or a bead head will lift the thread over the eye of the hook and when you lay your automatic bobbin on the thread post, it might go zzzz, come undone. Dubbing. Just a little rabbit fur here, guys. Nothing very special. Take a wee pinch, maybe a little bit more. You don't have to use wax or loops or any little gadgets. You just spin that right onto your working thread. Perfect. Now, if you want to tighten it, you go this way. If you want to loose it, you go the other way. Okay, we're going to come to the back here, weave this in and out of the gape of the hook. Start at the back and then just rub that dub body right forward, right up towards the eye of the hook. Okay. Secure that with a half hitch. Next, we take our dubbing brush, little beauty that we just made. Clip off the head end of the wire there. Lash that down like so, and again, secure it with a half hitch. Okay, now using the vise, we can take and just spin that right up to the cone itself. Okay. Bring your bobbin in, getting back of the wire, 
in front of the wire, secure it with a half hitch, and then we're going to come back and put a whip finish right on top of that half hitch. Okay, so that finishes that off pretty nicely. However, if you look at it closely, you see that cone head is still loose. A really neat way to tighten those things up, guys, is go ahead and, oops, let's get in front of it right here. And basically, we're going to put a head on the fly in front of the cone head. Start with a half hitch. Come back. Put a nice, neat little tidy head on there. And that'll push that cone back against that fur collar. And at the same time, it'll make it pretty well centered on the hook. There you go guys, it's a terrific little fly. Try it, it's simple, it's easy, and it really works.